I don't always have time to reply to a question asked on on my comments, but today I just happened to be sitting at home with nothing to, else to do. So, I'll, and I think the problem's kind of intriguing. So, how this is how I think about permutation and combination problems. Uh, I have a probably a different way than most when we talk about them. So, this is the this is a good way. Of, this is a good problem to do. So, how many ways can we choose three distinct letters? out of the list A, B, C, D, E, where each three-letter word, it's not necessarily a word, contains an A, a B, or both A and B. And so this kind of helps you see, this will help you see what I, how I think of this. So, I mean, I would, you know, if you get a chance, you know, stop the video and see how you think about the problem. Give it a shot. And then, and then watch to see what I do and see if, see if we have some, some things that are the same. Okay, so first off, what I would, what I, how I think about this is, I, I you have three letters we're going to choose. One could be an A. Another situation is it could be a B, and a third situation could be that it's. And let me put these beside each other so that it's more organized. Could be a B, and the third situation it could be both, so A and B. And so if this left one here is an A, we know, and, and this one's a B, so this one, will, this one on the left won't have a B in it. Well, that means that there's three more letters that could go in that position. And then if you put a letter there, then there's only two more that goes in that position. So there would be, you know, three times two, six ways to arrange this where A comes first. Well, you could also have a second. So there's six ways there. Oops. I'm trying to make this so it isn't so nasty. Oh, that should be a six. <laughs> Jeez, that's terrible. So there's uh, six ways here. You could have the A in the middle. So there's three that could go out here in the front, then two left over for that position. So there's six there. And we could put the A in the back. And so there's three we could go here and two that could go here. So there's six. So just for A only, there's 18 ways of choosing that if you add those three up. Okay, then the middle, the middle one is if you just chose B only and no A. Well, again, there's three that could go here, two that could go here. So again, there's six ways. And so then that one is you could put the B in the middle. So it'd be three B two because you have three times two is another six ways, and then the third situation is if the B comes last, so three letters could go here, two letters could go here, B could go last, and you have six, six there, and so you have eighteen ways that you could have a B only. And then the final one is you could have an A and a B, and that leaves you with three letters left over for that final position. So this could be A, B, E, or A, B, D, or A, B, C. So there's, there's your three choices. Okay, well, with this one, you could also have B, A in that order, and then you're th you'd still have three. So you'd have B, A, E, B, A, D, B, A, C. And then you could have uh, where A and B are split, so A here, B here, and there's three, or you could reverse that. And I'm going to need some more room now. So we've got three ways for this one, three ways for this one, three ways for this one. You could have B, then an A with three ways. And then you could have it where they're both at the back end. So you'd have three and then A, B. And then you could have three and then B, A. And so you have, you have, count these up, three, six, 9, 12, uh, 15, 18. So we have 18 ways for that one. And so total, we have basically 18 ways where there's only an A. We have 18 ways where there's only a B. And we have 18 ways where there's an A and a B both. Uh, and, you know, so 18 times 3, I think, is 54. Uh, let me do that quick. 
that's a two, yeah, 54. So there's 54 ways that we could choose three distinct letters and uh, where you either have an A, a B, or both A and B. And so that's how I think about, uh, about these types of problems. And uh, it's probably not a traditional way to think about it. Maybe it is. I don't know. It's the way I learned anyway and basically developed it on my own because uh, it never made sense to me until I just sat down and figured it out on my own. So hope this helps, and uh, I'll see you next time.